Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for Today. I'm going to read to you from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 22 to 24. This is Peter talking about Jesus. It says, He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Jesus suffered and died on the cross so that we could be healed. Jesus forwent reviling those who reviled him. He forwent um, threatening and causing suffering upon those who were inflicting suffering upon him. He lived a sinless, perfect life. And he offered himself as a sacrifice to bear our burdens on the cross. Our greatest burden, sin. And friends, in him we have salvation. In him... We have relief from the burden of sin, and we have assurance of salvation. We live in troubling times. We're still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. And then, in the midst of all this, we have a horrible tragedy in Minneapolis where uh, an African-American man, George Floyd, was murdered by a police officer, someone who was meant to protect and serve. And now this is a systemic issue within uh, police departments all around the nation. Now, there's something that does need to change, and uh, we need to step up. As those who live to righteousness, we need to step up and bear the burdens of our African-American brothers and sisters. If you have a skin color like mine, you don't know the burden of having to live as someone who is African-American. And the prejudice and the, uh, the judgmental uh, looks and suspicions that come with that. And so, something needs to change. We can't continue to have tragedies like this in the world. We can't continue to have uh, innocent people harassed and, uh, and persecuted. We just can't have that. That's, God has called us to bear the burdens, not just of our Christian brothers and sisters, which we are meant to do, but also to those who are needy and those who are suffering great injustice. and. There is injustice going on. We need to stand side by side with our African American brothers and sisters so that something can change. If you watch the news or you've been going on social media or anything, you'll notice that uh, that the rioting and everything going on, that doesn't feel real good when we're watching it. Um, And it shouldn't. When you see violence, when you see lawlessness, it should not feel good. But when you see the protests, the peaceful protests, where you see white and black and brown and and people of different ethnicities walking side by side in protest, uh, where where others are standing side by side with African Americans to help bear their burden, even police officers joining in on these protests, it should warm your heart. And I'm sure it does, because that is what's right. We are to bear one another's burdens. We are to live in righteousness, as those who are righteous and made righteous through our Lord Jesus Christ, who suffered our sins on the cross, so that we could be reconciled to him. And now I pray that reconciliation happens all around our nation, and that the right changes are made. Thank you for tuning into this devotion. God bless you.